Think of all the cool coils in the world. There's Tesla coils and yeah, that's pretty much it. Most coils are just kind of there. We lucked out making this next segment about Tesla coils. This is called a Tesla coil. It's named after Nikola Tesla. If that name sounds familiar, it's because I just said it twice. But it's also because he's an engineer and an inventor. He created the first alternating current motor. Oh yeah, and there's a car named after him. Maybe after a couple more segments, they'll name something really fun after me. Like an ice cream machine? Hi, I am Electric Cat. Are you ready for this? The Tesla coil was originally designed to power objects without any wires. It creates an electric field that can turn on or power up some objects like these little bulbs. Are you seeing this? But why does it work? Inside the Tesla coil is a transformer, which converts the lower voltage being applied into a higher, much higher voltage. When you use a toaster oven at home to toast up your bagel, your appliance runs around 120 volts. Small coils like this one can put out around 100,000 volts, while larger coils can produce over a million volts. The high voltage charges generated by the coil create strong electric fields that excite the gas in a fluorescent tube, causing them to emit light. Meaning the bulb can be turned on wirelessly. For this, I'll be putting on my gloves. I'm not really trying to touch 100,000 volts right now. It kind of looks like we have trapped lightning. I can't stop staring at it, it's beautiful. Okay, let's see what this one does. Wow. So as we can see, we can't really hold it too far away. This one, we have to be very, very close. Normally, these bulbs would get their power directly from a wire. The electric fields from the Tesla coil are strong enough to excite the atoms even from a distance. However, it doesn't travel very far. This is one reason why we're still very reliant on wires to transmit electricity. But I want you to notice something else. Do you see the end of this thin wire sparking an incredible purple blue color? Do you see how we're able to create the arc going from the wire through the air onto the screwdriver? Oh, that looks beautiful. This is the electric field ionizing nearby oxygen and nitrogen molecules that are in our air. These ionized molecules will send out arcs that look a lot like lightning, as we can see here, which makes sense because it's basically doing to the air what actual lightning does in a storm. When the electric potential between a cloud and the ground becomes large enough, it uses the molecules in the air to try to complete the circuit by, you guessed it, ionizing the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the air, which gives you an incredible light show. This electromagnetic display also creates heat, which forces the air surrounding the coil to rapidly expand, which creates a static crackle. If you listen, you can hear the song of electricity. Now that, that is my jam. It's a real bop. Ah, the sweet sounds of science. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.